Hello and welcome to Spa in Mazda. It's the production car challenge and I'm really excited because this is my first time here at Spa and uh, I've always wanted to tr uh, check out this place. It's uh, such a historic venue. Got the, uh, the famous uphill portion here. I know it's probably got a name. <laughs> But I don't know it yet because I'm uncultured. But uh, um, famous uphill portion where everyone's gonna wreck on the first lap, probably, <laughs> based on uh, some reconnaissance videos I've watched ahead of time, kind of learn a little bit about the track. <laughs> but uh, never mind that. Uh, I'm probably just gonna be taking it easy, making sure I'm hitting my breaking points because there's a lot of them here. And, uh, making sure I don't wreck into anyone as I navigate this place for the first time in a race. So I got, uh, I got enough practice ahead of time that I feel like I learned my breaking points at least. Um, let's hope I don't forget them at any point during the race because there's so many here. Um, there is a chance that I go brain numb. Oh my god, why do I always spin out right here? Hold tires right there? I've spun out almost every time I've been doing this. It's... It's almost unavoidable. I mean, if you're me, it's unavoidable. If you're skilled, it's probably very avoidable. But, man. I knew it was coming, too, and I still spun right there. I think it's just the cold tires plus an elevation change right there. Makes it really, really slippery, so... I guess I'll have to be double cautious this time. I was already cautious, now i got to be double cautious. But, uh, as I was saying, very excited to try this place out and not make mistakes like that during the race, hopefully. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Oof. It's, of course, uh, the production car challenge, so we've got other classes in here, although it's mostly Mazdas, as is usually the case. But I think we got at least one from every class. If, uh, if I remember correctly. Kind of scrolling through the roster there. So we're going to go really, really easy through here. Normally I let off and just kind of roll through here, but I'm going to use a little bit of brake this time. Alright. We made it. We did it. <laughs> Man, this, uh... Setup's crazy until the tires warm up. Holy cow. It is uh, obviously an advanced setup. It's the advanced Mazda setup. And uh, it is Major's Garage Baseline Plus, as I normally run. Which is just a slightly modified advanced setup. But it always seems to do a pretty solid job. It, uh, it obviously makes the car plenty on edge for me, so that makes it fast, but I gotta control it. And that's what I'm learning right now, is how to control it. And that's what I've uh, hopefully learned how to do well enough to make it through the race while practicing. But if not, that's alright too, because I... Don't expect perfection my first time at this track. I will say, I'm glad that uh, I always miss my breaking point there. It's okay. I will say that if I'm going to learn a new track, I think the Mazda is a great one to learn it in. Because this is probably the road car I'm most familiar with. Probably a tie between this and the Formula V, but I think this one's a little easier to drive in general. So, probably the best one to learn a new track in for me, personally. And uh, let's get it going. Here's our first qualifying lap. Okay. Here comes your first time this will lap. be the first time I actually kind of see how well I stack up against the field. Because the practice session I was in, there wasn't really too much participation, unfortunately. There were only a couple people that put in some laps. So, not really a good idea of where I'm going to be stacking up. Especially in what I 
assume is the top split. It might be the only split, but uh, road eye rating right now is twenty six ninety nine. Assume we are probably top split. Still going a little easy because I think the tires might still be pretty crazy cold. So I don't want to have it break loose on me like it did before. Got enough of that for one qualifying session, thank you. And so that means I'm still going to go through here pretty carefully. Yeah, much slower than I would normally. But I didn't spin out. And that's, uh, that's a good thing. I'm trying to do a qualifying lap. Not spinning out. Oh no, that's an off track. You can't do that here. That's another thing I learned in my reconnaissance. <laughs> where you can and can't go off track. And uh, that is an off track. As you have witnessed. So this lap will not count. And uh, I'm going to have to do better the next lap. Or just start at the back. Looks like it's really light there. And uh, if I start in the back, that's not a, not a big deal either. Because maybe that's where I should be. Very curious how the start's going to go. Like I said, there was a... Or did I say this? There was a big pileup in the video I watched <laughs> to prepare myself. Uh, which, you know, isn't too uncommon for road races involving the Mazda and road races involving days that end in Y, but uh, it was a pretty big one, so. <laughs> See there, I kind of broke a little too soon. I'm still kind of getting my breaking point for that corner. But that works. I will have the benefit of uh, watching people in front of me I don't want to obviously mimic their every move, because if they make a mistake, then I don't want to be following them into said mistake. But uh, it will give me a good idea where everyone's going to be breaking. Oh, we're out of time. Huh. Well, they don't really give you much extra time, do they? If your lap's going to take almost three minutes and they give you eight minutes. Well, I guess uh, that's where we're starting. Can't hear people. Something wrong with my volume? Can't hear you. Oh no, that's that person's problem, I guess. Make sure we got the fuel in it. Yes, we do. I went ahead and did a, a gallon up on what Major's Garage gave me because last time I almost ran out of fuel. I was in advanced Mazda, and unfortunately, I didn't get the recording of that one because OBS had closed and I didn't realize it, so I didn't get the uh, recording. But uh, last time I did the Advanced Mazda race at Olton Park, excuse me, um, at Olton Park, I was sputtering going around the last corner, and I went from third to fourth because of it. <laughs> so that was a bummer. Almost didn't make it. Uh, so I'm gonna give myself an extra gallon here, just to be sure. And uh, that's right, we have rolling starts. And production car challenge and they almost never go well almost never go well at all <laughs> so this ought to be good don't have too many mazdas behind us we're gonna have to keep that in mind hopefully they're not gonna be overly aggressive like i said i i if i end up in the back which i did I'm not gonna be too upset about that because I am supposed to be learning. Lots of nervous excitement here. Yeah, let's go. Spa. <laughs> and uh, just about five seconds until the uh, Mustangs start rolling. And uh, I assume we're going to give some space as the Mazdas. That's usually what we do anyway. See the Mustangs rolling up there. Mazda's waiting a brief moment. All right. Catch star seven. Car. Nothing too unfamiliar. Catch star twenty six. Car. 
You have lots of space because people really pace weird here in this series. Like, really weird. You're going to see people swerving left and right and, like, slamming on the brakes. Because they're all trying to warm their tires, I guess. But, uh, half the time it just seems to cause collisions instead of warming tires. Jetstar 10, car. Jetstar 22, car. 22, car? What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what that, that means, but... Are we, are we going? Is this the start of the race? Did we start, or...? About to go green. I don't know, oh, man. This is always so weird. Are we going? <laughs> I don't like not knowing if we're actually going. I guess we are. Alright. Well, that's how the race started, I guess. Someone dive into the inside. Alright, cool, buddy. Thanks. Can't wait. Even before the race actually starts. Before you do a dive. Right on. Being Lightning McQueen. Back to the California Speedway or whatever it's called in the in the movies. Oh man, already cold tires are weirding me out on the on the start. This thing's really unstable right now. I just really have to take it easy. Why am I in fifth gear? Draft is gonna be a huge thing. Going really slow through here. Oh boy, this is gonna be messy. I have no experience passing at this track at all. So I'm gonna have to be really careful about where I choose my spots. Go through there really slow, because you saw what happens if you don't on cold tires. That was honestly a good reminder for me. So as I don't make this stupid mistake early. Almost an off track. Man, that uh, that outside really creeps up on you. On that corner. Feels like you slow down enough, and then maybe not so much. About trying to get around him there, but it's not the time for it. Get someone a centimeter from our rear end. Are you gonna bump draft me? Like, left side. Take it easy, man. Stay on the right. I'm just trying to learn this track. Clear. All he had to do was politely ask. I would have given you the spot. Also, I should shift at some time this century. Oh. Right. Gotta, gotta run on him out, on the uh, out of the corner there. Still there. Clear. No idea how to take uh, the corners yet, so there's gonna it's gonna be slow going for a while. I promise you. Not sure how I like this. There we go. First time potentially going side by side through there. I would know what they call that area if I heard it. I just don't remember it right now. All right, sorry, I'm gonna gonna have to take this run. Keep to the right. Clear. Had to take it because I remember they went way too slow for me through there last time, and 
in the wrong gear, by the way. And uh, I needed to take it that time. Little overdriven there. Tires warm yet? Warm enough. All right. So uh, I think that puts us into 13th at the moment. That is a okay with me. Top 10 here, I think, is a win. Um, you know, for my standards, or at least you know that's the goal I'm setting for myself is a top 10. First time at a, a new track. Get a top 10. That's alright. Hear what the uh, I rating has to say about it. If it says I lose I rating, then I don't really care about that. Because it doesn't know. This is my first time here. And does not take that into consideration. I forgot what corner it was and shifted when I didn't need to. See, that's what I'm talking about. There are going to be lots of uh, newbie mistakes here. Um, it's not even quite like learning like knock hill or something, which is a minute long lap. This is like a three minute long na uh, nap lap. So there's a lot more uh, to learn, to memorize for the corners. So I have to expect I'm going to forget some things. Mmm, got a little light there. Fine. I know I can take that so much better. And that. I could have gotten on the gas much sooner. Alright. But we have not crashed yet. We just have that one, one X from going off track a little bit. I'll uh, pick up a few more of those before this thing's over, I guarantee you. It's all right. And I got a little weird through there. There's a lot of distance between us, particularly in front. this corner a lot. I feel like I'm doing pretty decent through there. Maybe not. They gained a lot on me there. So probably not, actually. It doesn't seem like too many people are wrecking out, so maybe this is uh, one of those tracks where people don't seem to crash very often. Probably people out there laughing right now that know something I don't. Like that there's a lot of crashes here. But that's all new information to me. I'm just one of them oval racers. I turn left, and that's it. I don't go no right turn. I leave those right turns for the Europeans. I'm sorry, I won't, I won't subject you to that voice anymore. I did it again! Why did I shift into first there? I keep, like, in my mind thinking that's a different corner. And I ruin, like, this entire stretch. And lose so much time. So, uh, this guy's gonna come past me. Left side. Hello, buddy old friend o pal. Keep to the right. Still there. Clear. Man, he drove that in deep. Or normal, and I underdrive it, which is probably the correct answer. I just don't have my breaking point consistent with that turn yet. It doesn't have a, a very identifiable marker for me, I don't think. Ooh, almost followed him off there. That might have been an off-track. 
I don't actually know. I don't remember if uh, if you can go off a little there or not. But uh, being behind this guy is going to help us uh, speed up just a bit. Not going to shift into fifth because once you start going up that hill, you need that uh, those extra RPMs. And I don't think I want to try passing here because I think this guy's faster than me. And by staying behind him, I think uh, having his draft, it's going to just make us faster. So. Mm-mm. Probably hear that wheel going, don't you? <laughs> Viewers at home hearing the wheel squeal like my pedal. I think I, I have an idea of what I can do to fix the pedal problem, though, with the squeaky pedal. Um, thanks to... Wayne, who commented recently, actually, mentioning, like, the, uh, the greaser technique or something, um, they, men they mentioned it, and I went ahead and looked it up, and, uh, might be able to try a thing or two and get it to be less squeaky, so I appreciate that, because this thing's been squeaking for a while now. It's like I have a mouse under the pedal. Weaken at me. Ooh, 23 is getting kind of sideways. Using the whole track. Yeah, I'm glad I, uh... Hey, I didn't shift there. I'm glad I, uh, have decided to stay behind him, because I do think he's faster. This draft is actually making me faster. I mean, look at the old-time best lap here. So, he's gonna be our pace car for a while. Thank you, Zane, for unintentionally being my pace car. Ooh, that's got to be an off-track, right? Oh, look at that. We're catching up to the other two guys up there. Yeah, Zane. Here we go. No pass. What if I just ask people not to pass me, then they'll listen. Do you think that works? Hey, don't pass me. I qualified pole. Hey, no one passed me. And then you win every race. Genius. Can't believe no one's thought of that. I do know this course is kind of uh, meant for faster cars, because, I mean, you see how uh, slow we're going down these long straights. I think this is the strategy, I'm going to be honest. Maybe if uh, we start feeling like we can be faster, then I'll try to overtake him. But right now, I think the only reason I'm keeping up is because of draft. They're going a little wide. Just following him. Yeah, I mean, look, he's, he's making it through these corners faster, and I just get up back on him, so... We're catching the 11 and 21 up there. So, ooh, that was almost an off track for me. It's really riding the curb. No first gear. I am capable of learning. I'll probably do it at least once more before the end of this race, though. Just, uh, forewarning. And now see, he made it through that whole entire part of the course faster 
But now we're gonna just be right on his bumper here in a moment. So this draft. We are. I think we're better through this portion though. I think he Oh No Zane! My Pied Piper! What am I gonna do now? I'm lost without my Zane! <laughs> okay, let's not be weird. I might be taking it too far. Being a creep. <laughs> well, hey, maybe Zane can catch up from uh, our draft. Oh well. We'll take what we've learned from the lessons Zane taught us and use them in the future of our racing. Genuinely, watching him did help me kind of get a better feel of some of the breaking points. So, <laughs> that's part of learning. It's got a new track, watching other cars, for example. Do some blocking right there. That's what you do at that part of the, of the track. Mm, bad angle. Okay, though. I wonder if we can catch these guys. Probably not. But we can try to catch these guys. I keep seeing puffs of smoke there. I wonder if that's just guys skidding their tires. I can take these corners so much faster. I just gotta be more brave with it. And that's gonna just, uh, the more comfortable I get with this car, the more I'll be able to do that. where I'll gain some speed over time when I'm able to be more aggressive with the throttle because I know uh, when I can get back on it. Not first gear. I wonder if we can catch up to uh, say these guys. I would love to be in their draft at the very least. Let's see, Zane's more likely to catch up to us though. Because he's about half distance. So those guys are. I'm not sure when I need to shift to fifth. Kind of stalls out there at the top of... Oh, my breaking point. Almost forgot the breaking point. Okay. Alright, we're good. <laughs> that probably actually helped me uh, be a little more aggressive on breaking there. Like I should be. Like being thrown into the deep end of the pool and learning to swim. wide there. Not many wrecks. We're not getting very many free spots. I guess because there's just so much room. Why did I shift? There's so much room that guys aren't running into each other as much. Now that they've spread out, I guess that's what's going on. Here comes Zane. <laughs> and he's here. <laughs> That's all it took, huh? Did 
Uh, if he goes for the pass, I'm just going to let him have it because I know he's faster. He made his way all the way back. He's going for it right now, in fact. Keep to the left. Maybe could have been a little more patient with it, but... Why well, discourage it? Because now I get extra draft. I did it again. I told you I would. I did it again. I <laughs> shifted to first. What did I tell you? Wait. Look at all this extra speed. It's like we got turbo now. Got people saying sorry and stuff in the chat. I wonder if that's someone that has wrecked in front of us. Oh, Under drove that one again. That's a fun corner too. I just haven't been able to hit it right yet. I think it'd be really fun if I hit it right. <laughs> but I don't think I think I've yet to do that. So. Almost shifted. Oh! There's stuff happening. Oh, there's a couple people that were in the pits. How about that? We're gonna get some... You ruined the race. I've been there before. Um, could be a couple spots. Finally starting to get some freebies. I'm so much faster when I can watch Zane go through here. Ooh, almost shifted too early there. I might uh, try to catch Zane before he goes and thank him for being a good guy in this race. Because <laughs> he genuinely has helped me be faster. Not only because of draft, but because of learning the lines. And we've reached these two guys, it looks like. I'm actually going to do this real quick. Session last lap, because the best lap doesn't seem to usually record very well. On, uh, in the production car challenge, for whatever reason. Dang, two seconds up on our last lap. a little bit too much there. Thankfully didn't hurt us. Oh boy. Top 10 is probably not going to happen, to be honest, but... Alright, that wasn't an off track. I thought that was going to be an off track there for a moment. But uh, I tried to get on the gas a little sooner. Be a little more aggressive through there. How much time we got? Well, shoot, this is probably, uh, after this lap, the fifth gear. Why'd I do that? Eh, it's fine. <laughs> we got the draft. Uh-oh, are they going to be, like, three wide through here? This blocking's a little bit ridiculous. All right, put your, uh, place your bets now. How, how well is this going to go? Wasn't so bad. 
so far. It still could go poorly. Give some space there. Now we're all bunched up. Got ourselves a little pack. Coming around to the white flag here too, probably. Might uh, get some aggression. Could get testy. Could get interesting. I did not take that correctly at all. He's trying to dive it in on him. It's crazy, man. Zane, don't drive off without me. My guide is leaving me. If these guys would stop fighting. They could. They could gain the same speed we were gaining before. Uh, they're not looking big picture. They're looking push the other guy off picture. Oh, Lord, you guys. Gave him lots of room because I thought maybe one of them was going to get spun there. Alright, bye Zane. Flag. One more left to go. He trying to wreck him? That looks like he was trying to wreck him. I don't want any part of that. Not shifting this time. Gee whiz, guys. You've got about five laps of fuel. I don't like the way this guy's driving on the girls. Still there. Stay on the left. Clear, right side. Clear on the right. <sighs> Just want to finish my first race at Spa without a broken car. That's all I want. That's all I ask on this fine day. I could get a top 10 from here. Final. Famous last words. These were his final words before he did not get a top 10. I mess up that corner every time. I just uh, don't put myself in the right position. Alright, this is gonna be weird. This is gonna get real weird. Because this is when the draft is happening. These guys are gonna be side by side again. And I have the feeling they've been pretty impatient with each other. They might be fed up with each other's antics. Might see something strange. I mean, they've been, they haven't just straight up taken each other out, though. They're being aggressive, but they haven't actually taken each other out, so, I mean, it's been good racing. Alright, he almost killed me because he decided to take some really weird angle, but 
Oh, this guy's out of fuel. We gotta beat him. Oh! Free spot. That was literally me in the last race that I didn't record. 11th. Heck yeah. Alright, we didn't get a top 10. But I said top 10 would be a win. I guess this means 11th is a runner-up. Nice. So we'll give it a good old parky do. Is this muted? Yeah, it was. Yeah, thank you. I can't say anything. A good ride, I'm sorry about the ammo. Probably. Where is Zane? Good racing with you. Oh, no! Alright. Well, I wanted to say good racing with you. Thanks for being my unintentional guide. My first time at Spa. <laughs> but uh, he has decided to leave. But, uh, alright. So, P15 overall. Because, you know, the Mustangs. And uh, so P11 of the Mazdas, it looks like I finished about mid-pack of the Mazdas, so that's uh, that's just about fine, about where I would think I would finish. So fourth, so t uh, pretty much I was number four of the Mazdas and finished uh, 11th. Okay, not spectacular, but... Um, I really feel like I upped my pace as time went on and really got an idea of how this track works and there's still lots of uh, room for improvement. You know, we got we hit our best lap on lap 8. What's my optimal? Yeah, right about that. Oh, it doesn't record it properly because it's weird. Okay. I think maybe it doesn't record uh, best laps in multi-class racing or something like... So you don't end up with situations where, like, oh, a Mazda got the best ever time, but but only because they followed a Mustang in the draft for the majority of the time. I think maybe that's what's happening with these multi-class races, but that's just a complete guess on my part. Anyway, let's see what happened out here. Like I said, it seemed like a pretty clean race. Uh, we're going to get some spins off the start. Definitely. Cold tires and people messing up. Oh, Zane spun it. He was really fast, he just had a couple mistakes. That's why we were fortunate enough to uh, actually be where he was. So he he he, has, uh, he spun this time, and then uh, he kind of like half spun later, and we saw it happen. And he still beat us. So. It's uh, all that room to improve. Speaking of room, the Jetta didn't give very much of it there, I don't think. Or there, for that matter. Jetta's kind of driving all over the course. That's a blink. That's a Jetta. Who is this Jetta? Not to call you out, man, but... They are struggling. Gotta get some more practice, maybe. Too wide. Yeah, barely touched. I don't think that was much of anything. Oh, that's a serious send. That was a weird way of going back on the course, too. If you're already cutting it, you might as well rejoin a little safer than that. It's a very shallow entry. Yeah, I thought it would be hard for him to keep it down there. Zane's looking at his phone on the straight or something. <laughs> Drifted to the side. Like they uh, sent it. Yep. Bump that poor guy off the course. These guys are getting into each other a lot. I can see there being uh, an accident at some point. Probably the reason that we uh, gained some freebies at one point. These guys are being very physical. Even on the straightaways. Uh... Wow, that was weird. It kind of looked like you just started running into him on the straight. Yeah, that looked intentional. 
Look at that. Look at that turn to the left. Unless that was some very weird specific net code. That looked intentional. And how'd that work out for you? So that was a freebie. Maybe two. Did the orange uh, the orange card get going again? I don't think so. So that was two freebies right there. Two for one special. People like really get close to that wall in this straight. I think that's where the driving line takes you. Maybe that's what they're doing. Like it's really not necessary to use that much of the track in the Mazda. Maybe in like a faster car, but like... I can enter like right here and do just fine. It's not like I am unable to make it through. I don't know, maybe they know something I don't. Oh, what's happening? Nine. Oh yeah, this is when I thought they were going to spin each other out or something. You see, like I give them like an entire continent of room. Because I see that guy drifting up. And I'm like, uh, are they going to bump into each other? And then this guy's going to spin off to the left or something. Because sometimes... Weird collision results happen that way, so I'm like, all right, well, I'm coming down here. <laughs> like I said, I just wanted to survive my first race at Spa. And that I did! But I ended up with uh, just one incident, just that one time. I think it was like lap one, or two, or something. So that's, uh, that's kind of what I was looking for. Just have a nice, clean race for my first race. You know, halfway decent finish. Probably could have been a little bit better, but... This time, make sure I don't look like that. Oh, that's a blown engine. Is this after the race is over? Yeah, this is after the race is over and people are just being goofy. Woo, that looks like fun. I mean, obviously in the game, don't do that in real life. <laughs> but, uh, alright, sure. Uh, P15 or overall, 11th of the Mazdas. Uh, and a fun time checking out Spa for the first time. And uh, I guarantee you I'll be back. Because I know a lot of series go here pretty frequently. Because it is a very popular and famous circuit. And uh, I'm glad that I could participate in the race here for the first time as well. So continues my expansion of my road racing. And uh, lots of exciting times ahead. So, thanks for watching. Thank you to Zane for being my guide unintentionally, and I'll see you next time.